Hi developers, I'm Stefan Bertosz and in this video I will talk about jhipster. What is jhipster? jhipster is a development platform to quickly generate, develop and deploy modern web applications and microservice architectures. How to start? Install Java, Git and Node.js. I already have it installed on my machine. And then continue with installing the jhipster generator. How to do that? Open the command line. Copy paste into the command line the command npm install minus g generator jhipster. This is a installation, a global installation of the jhipster generator. This will take some time, obviously. Yeah, you need to be patient. On my machine it would be much faster because I already did this a couple of times and you need to wait. It is obviously installing some node modules and dependencies and voila, it's there. We have the generator installed. So what next? Next step is to create a directory. And then let's jump to the directory. And now let's run the generator by typing jhipster. And we have a nice welcome screen. We have a uh, three possibilities to choose from monolithic application gateway application or microservice let's choose the first one monolithic application let's keep most of the defaults uh, we want uh, reactive so let's type yes and enter let's keep the default let's go to http session Let's go with SQL and PostgreSQL database. H2 is fine for us. I like Gradle, so let's choose Gradle. No, I don't want the registry. I want the API, so select the API, press space and enter. I want the Angular, press enter. I would like to generate the admin UI, so type yes. And enter. Let's keep the default. Uh, yes, we want. And let's choose English and let's choose check by pressing space and enter. Let's choose cucumber and enter. And let's choose no and enter. And now the magic will happen. So now the generator will really start doing its job generating a lot of files, Java files, Angular files, style files, and whatever other files are in these generated applications. So it can take some amount of time. Depends on the machine, OS system, disk, and so on and so on. And obviously the choices which you selected during the previous stages the stage uh, which is um, after the initial generation stage and basically which is doing some again some npn dependency tree uh, collection downloads this is the really the, this is the really the slowest part so you need to wait and be patient grab a coffee or whatever it will take hey and voila the generation is done and now jhipster is uh, giving us some recommendations uh, what to do next basically to run your Spring Boot application we should type Gradle V so let's try it or let's try what happens and because we choose some open API and it will generate something for us.
basically contract first design. It will also build the web application. So basically it will really start as a big fat monolithic application. Let's wait for this. Finally some Java stuff and Spring Boot Run is starting up. And now he says we can visit our local host 8080 and we should see the application. Let's try it. Yes, and voila, J Hipster application is running. Cool, or? And is it the only way how to generate the J Hipster? application? No, not really. They have a online generator as well. If you go to start jhipster tech, you can do the same yeah, as you did on your desktop. So basically generating the jhipster application online, clicking on the create application, filling the same stuff, same options or similar, whatever you like, and then downloading the zip. And here you go, you can start. How much time does it take to generate uh, jhipster application on my PC, on my local PC? Yeah, I tried uh, various uh, combinations and I think the longest one or the most time expensive was a uh, monolithic application with not, reac not reactive stack and Angular on the front end. It was like six minutes and React was three minutes, view two minutes, without client one minute and the uh, simple gateway application without client one minute and microservice application one minute so it really depends on the chosen technologies obviously on the cpu power uh, how quick is your disk and so on and so on what are the technologies of jhipster so there are quite a lot of technologies which jhipster supports go to their page jhipster tech and you would see a lot of videos a lot of uh, guides uh, and so on and really it supports a lot of uh, options uh, and technologies so from for the front end uh, they're using webpack npm and you can generate into the uh, you can generate view angular and react front ends then on the back end uh, with maven or gradle you basically are generating spring boot java applications with various other technologies which they support under the hood various databases which they support and so on and so on so there is a lot of information on their page and a lot of guides good guys is it possible to deploy a generated jhipster application to cloud yes definitely yes if you would go to the production you would see guides how to deploy to the AWS, Azure, Google Cloud or other clouds, uh, they would uh, mention the restrictions which are there and basically how to set up the deployment. Are there some other uh, similar generators like this? Yes, uh, there are, but they are not that good. One is so-called JMix. Uh, it's, they call it as, a, as a, again, a, a development platform, yeah with uh, similar but limited possibilities you can try it out and as well this, there is a project called spring Rule, which uh, was meant to be a next generation rapid application development tool for java developers only for uh, spring boot i think but I, there is i think not that much traction on this project anymore does the jhipster has some kind of admin ui yes they have an admin ui it is called the jhipster control center looks like this yeah and it has a quite nice architecture where this uh, bigger application um, the control center control center is using spring cloud Go gateway service discovery and so on and it connects then to your microservices and provides various ways uh, how you can monitor this. Does it 
look familiar yeah because for me it looks like it's a spring boot admin up in a j hipster style what next yeah i would recommend uh, study j hipster try it generate uh, play around and if the time allows in the next video i would try to create a production like microservice application with j hipster they have a nice page for this how you should do the things and with generated stuff you could really generate a production like microservice oriented architecture and applications yeah so we will try this in the next video and that's all folks so feel free to leave comment please subscribe click on the bell to not miss any of the upcoming uh, videos and of course click on the like button enjoy jay hipster